How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can reroll a lot quicker with the new skips that have been found and also how to get around this whole making a new account thing. If you don't know by now, miHoYo has removed the option to create new accounts with usernames. So now you can only make accounts with email. The way that I found to get around this is actually using a Gmail account and inputting your email as your regular email the first time. And if you're not happy with that account, you can actually enter your email again. But this time you put a period between the letters so it thinks it's a new email. So let me show you an example. So let's say my account, my email, oops, my email is gts13 at gmail.com, right? So with this, I'll use this as my first account and miHoYo will take it as a new email and everything will be fine. I do the reroll and I don't like my rolls, so I want to do this again. So what I can do is I can actually use the same email but all I have to do is add a period in between the one of the letters. And then from there, just send the code to verify it. And it would actually go to your same email that you're using. So it won't go to like a stranger's email or anything like that. It'll still go to your own email. And miHoYo will accept it as a new account or a new email. So once you finish with that account and you're not happy with it, you can actually go on to the next dot. And then one, one, if you're not happy with that either, go to the next one. And you can keep doing that. I do recommend you try and uh, you make an email that's long or, or it uses the max amount of characters that you can use. That way you have more options to play with and add more dots. You just got to make sure you keep um, track of, you know, the dots that you're using and stuff like that. And you should be good to go. Okay, so let's move on to the rerolling section of this video. Now at the start, once you have created your account, you're going to be greeted with this. Just press accept and start the game. At the start of the game, you're going to go through the cutscene where you get to choose the boy or the girl. I decided to choose the boy because the boy can actually run a lot quicker. And also he's a little bit taller, so he has the advantage of a, being able to climb ledges uh, a lot sooner, I I imagine. I'm not 100% on this. This is apparently the meta. So we're just going to go with the boy character. Now also when you are on, once you finish picking your character, you can actually skip the cutscene by pressing Alt F4 on PC. Now if you are playing on PS4, then unfortunately you won't be able to do that. But if you are on PC and your loading times are quick enough, then I would really recommend you to pressing Alt F4. So you'll see it soon once I pick my character and you'll see it happen. Also, just to let you guys know, there are going to be some cutscenes in this um, video. And just keep in mind that I do skip them to make this thing, this whole video a little bit shorter and not like way too long, like 30 minutes long or something like that. So, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Here you'll see you you might have noticed that the screen goes black, and that's because that's where I press Alt F4, and I go back into the game to start this whole thing up again. And from there, if you go through this whole startup section and you start the game, you'll be in the beach cutscene. All right, so as you can see here, we were able to reach the cutscene where we're at the beach. I decided to cut that part because it just makes the video way too long. And I want to make this as short as possible by providing the information that you need. So once you start the game, you're going to dash three times and head towards the teleporter waypoint that you saw me get right there. You don't need to be right on top of it, but you do need to be close to it enough for you to activate it. Once you have activated it, you're going to just keep walking straight towards this ledge and climb it. And you're going to keep following this path to uh, um, activate a cutscene. 
you can actually activate this cutscene really early by actually going onto the left towards these bushes that you see right in front of you and the cutscene will start a lot sooner and you can also skip this cutscene by pressing alt f4 and starting the game back up and you'll skip the cutscene where you see the world around you and stuff like that. So after restarting the game back up, you'll be right here where you can talk to a Paimon. If I mispronounce it, I'm sorry. And once you talk to her, you'll get into this whole little cutscene moment that you got to talk. It doesn't take that long. But anyways, if for any reason you spawn further away, you can just press Control F to spawn closer to her and start the whole talking sequence. Now from here on, you're going to follow uh, Paimon and you're actually going to come across your first chest so just pay attention here you'll actually see that it's up there on that little hill thing so while paimon is walking you're just going to climb and you're going to get this chest if you manage your stamina correctly you'll be able to climb that a lot quicker than i did here and then once you get that chest we're going to go to the tower of seven to activate it and if you've done this before then you probably know the drill that there's another cutscene coming which I did cut, made it a little bit shorter. Okay, so once the cutscene is over, you are going to start the tutorial where it teaches you how to use your abilities. And the first time you gotta press E, the second time you gotta hold E, and then the third time you can uh, use your Q ability. And if you time it right, you'll be able to get it early. And then from there, you're just gonna jump off. You can start swimming towards this car broken caravan that you see in front of you. And you're going to go off the ledge where that caravan is located. And the reason why is because there is another chest right underneath that ledge. And that's going to be your second chest. And then from here, you are going to keep walking straight. And you'll trigger this little cutscene. And you can actually walk while that cutscene is happening. So keep that in mind. And make sure you don't uh, hit anything that will stop you from walking. And then you're just going to keep going straight while keeping yourself to the left. And there's going to be your third chest right here that you can pick up. Once you pick up that chest, walk forward and you'll trigger the cutscene with Venti and Devalin. And also, like I said here before, just to make things quicker, I am going to cut that cutscene so we can make this video a little bit shorter than it already was. So now, once you have finished that cutscene, head towards the tier and interact with it. If you get to the tier before Paimon gets there, you are going to have to talk to Paimon. If you get there on time, then the cutscene will trigger by itself. Jump off that ledge, follow what I just did there and grab the third the fourth chest, no fifth chest. I, I, I honestly lost count already. Anyways, just grab that chest that was right there. And if you move forward a little bit, you'll trigger another cutscene. And that's Amber's cutscene. With Amber's cutscene, you can actually skip it by pressing Alt F4, which I did right now. And that will skip the cutscene where she jumps at you and she is introduced. So once you skip that and start up the game, you'll have to go to the left to talk to Amber. All right, so once you have started the game back up, talk to Amber, and Amber is going to introduce herself, go through her dialogue, and make sure you don't pick here that Paimon is emergency food. And the reason why is because it takes longer with this whole conversation. If you choose the other option, then this conversation will end a lot quicker. And the whole thing for re-rolling is that we are trying to speed run this. So once you finish her dialogue, just switch to Amber, kill the slime, grab that chest, and then head towards this other broken caravan that's right there, and grab the next chest. 
Once we grab that chest, we're going to make our way towards the teleport waypoint here. Now, if you pay attention here, if you see those two crack, that, that crack in the middle where I jumped, if you aim for that there, then you'll be able to save some stamina with since you won't have to climb. So once you get the teleporter, just switch to Amber, kill this guy right here and use your main character to finish him off. Then switch back to Amber and shoot the one that's at the tower here and switch back to the main character and use your ability here so you can kill them all in one go. Once you kill them, you can actually collect that chest. I actually got stuck right there. So if you don't get the chest, you're going to look like a dummy like me where the chest is going to be mocking you throughout this cutscene. So get the chest. Don't get stuck like I did. So once the cutscene is over, you can either grab the chest if you didn't already. And then you can teleport to the waypoint that we got just now. So once you have teleported, switch to Amber and aim towards the tree that is in front of you. And that's because there's going to be a chest near that area. If you can see, if you see it properly, I did it three times so you can see it. But if you look, you'll see that there's a chest covered in vines. Just aim at it so you can burn it. And you're going to move towards this lady right here to start the cooking quest. This quest is important, so make sure you do it. You cook the um, chicken skewer first and just stop it anywhere. You can burn it. doesn't really matter. Once you have cooked the skewer, talk to Lin. And you need to talk to her twice. I know a lot of people said you just don't need to talk to her. Talk to her twice. The first time is to accept the quest. And the second time is to um, redeem the quest. So make sure you talk to her twice. Please, for the love of God. A lot of people were saying on my last video that they don't know why they weren't adventure ranked this and that's because you probably missed this quest so once you do the quest you're you should be adventure rank four if you're not then that means you missed something get the chest that we burn with amber that's going to be right there and then start heading towards monstat Just to make this quicker, I did cut that cutscene out because it just takes way too long and the mid and the video is going to be way too long. So here, just go through the dialogue with Amber, click really quickly so we can move on. After you talk to Amber, you're going to have to press J so you can bring up the quest uh, menu and then just exit out of it really quickly and start heading towards the next teleport waypoint that is right there. Okay, so once you get the teleport right here, you're going to follow the route that I take. Make sure you manage your stamina correctly because the there's some points here where I didn't manage it correctly. So I kind of had to just stop there for a second and wait for it to come back. If you manage it correctly, you are able to do this a lot quicker than I did. So on this ledge, make sure you wait for your stamina to come back up. So you can climb this area and get to Amber and start the next cutscene. Alright, so here there's going to be dialogue where Amber tells you about the glider. So all you're going to have to do is just move forward, open up your glider, and then from there open up your map and teleport to Mondstadt through the teleporter that you just got. That's going to be quicker than actually gliding all the way to, towards Amber. Then from here, once you do that, you are going to go into the Devalent fight. Just to make the video shorter, I did cut the part where Devalent shows up and you are thrown up in the air. So once you are here, all you have to do is just shoot at Devalent and kill him really quickly. Um, I kind of suck at aiming, so bear with me here. But you can kill him really fast. And once you kill him, another cutscene is going to happen. And we're going to move on from there.
So like I said here before, once you um, kill Devalin or get him low enough, you're going to trigger a cutscene. And then from there, another cutscene is going to happen with some dialogue. I did make that shorter so we can move on quicker and make this video shorter as well. So once you finish the conversation there, you're going to be right here. Go to this ledge right here instead of the other one that I did in the other video. And the reason why is because it's a lot quicker to jump here. I kind of messed up and got a little bit stuck, so I kind of had to take it slow because of my stamina. But this is way quicker than the other way. So now that you do that, you are going to come here and climb this and touch the teleporter. After touching the teleporter, you're going to come to this chest without messing this up. And <laughs> like I said, I, I kind of messed up my stamina, my stamina management. So once you jump there, you can get the chest. You can collect the rewards if you want. I kind of just did this to be fast and then grab the second chest there, jump off glide a little bit and then slam down so you can get right here to the knights area go inside and you're going to start the cutscene with Jean once that cutscene is over you should be AR5 and um, you are going to be told about wishes which we're not going to do yet we're not going to wish yet so from there you're just going to teleport to the waypoint that we got um, near the cooking quest and that's because we're going to do Amber's uh, domain. Amber's domain can actually be skipped for most of the parts that it has so we're gonna go through that. Okay so in order to skip Amber's domain keep in mind that it does take a little bit of practice so if you don't want to do it or you find it too hard then you can just do the domain like normal but if you do want to try this skip then i'll show you right now how to do it it's actually pretty cool it's a little bit hard but it's pretty cool so like before all you have to do is just open up this door and then you'll be prompted with a tutorial on using pyro to destroy the vines but we're not going to do that all we're going to do is come to this corner right here and jump over it and then we're going to switch to Amber and go to this corner to pick up a chest and then jump on the little ledge that you have right there and then start gliding towards the vine and you should be able to make it to the other side. Then from here, we're going to jump over the railing that's behind the uh, door of resurrection and we're going to jump right here and we're going to slash three times and jump. If you can't, if that doesn't work, try it again and you should be able to jump and get to that ledge. So then from there, we're just going to keep jumping, jumping, jumping. And then once you get to the very top, you're going to jump and glide towards that little cube with vines on them. And once you get to the very top of that cube, you're going to automatically just drop and you're going to skip all of Amber's uh, domain. And then you'll be able to destroy the stone, start up the cutscene and get the chest that you get at the end of her domain. All right, so once you finish her domain and exit, you are going to be in another area. And then from here, we're just gonna head towards the left. And you should notice that there is a chest with vines right in front of you. Shoot that so you can collect the chest. And then we're gonna keep heading left and you're gonna see some floating slimes. You can actually aim for them from where I'm at right now. So if you run out of stamina, then make sure you aim at them to try to get them to save a little bit more time. And from there, a chest is going to spawn. And then here I kind of mess up and I don't get the Animoculus. All you have to do is just climb back up and grab this Animoculus. We are going to need two Animoculus right here so we can activate the Tower of Seven. And there's a reason why we need to do that. So you see that right in front of you right here, if you head towards the Tower of Seven, there's going to be a second Animoculus that we're going to use on the tower. Once you are at the tower, just activate it and we are going to offer our two Animoculus that we just got.
All right, so the reason why we need those two Animoculus is for that right there. The updraft is going to help us to get to Lisa's domain a lot quicker. Now, once you have offered your Animoculus, head towards this tree right here and climb on this area specifically so you can get to this tree bark and rest for a little bit so you can climb the rest so you can go onto this tree branch that's on the right. And the reason is because there's an Animoculus there that we need. Once you get that, just jump off and start gliding towards the next Animoculus that's right there and grab one of the wisps and activate your ability so you can glide up and reach the Animoculus. Once you get the Animoculus, just slam down and head towards the updraft that we unlocked when we uh, offered our Animoculus to the Tower of Seven. Just follow the route that I take right here. So once you start getting close to the updraft, you're going to notice that some slimes spawned. Just make sure you dodge them so they don't waste your time. Once you take the updraft, just keep yourself towards the left so you can get the animoculus that's going to be up there. Once you get it, just start gliding forward so you can get to Lisa's dungeon. Once you get there, just talk to Lisa so we can start her uh, domain. And we can actually skip Lisa's domain as well. So that's really cool. All right, so at the start of, the, of Lisa's domain, we're just gonna stay on the left here and walk through the railing and then we're just gonna skip talking to Lisa and also the part where it aims up at the where the rock is supposed to be get that chest that's behind those crates and ride this updraft once you get to the top get the chests that are behind these ch uh, crates as well and then from here you're going to take the updraft again and you're going to head towards um this area right here make sure the updraft brings you all the way up so you're able to reach um, the ledge and climb if you don't do it correctly you're just gonna fall and you're gonna have to restart the domain if you do it fast enough this platform should be there on time if you missed it, it that's okay just wait for the platform and activate the next cube Once you activate the cube, you can just keep heading forward. It doesn't really matter. Just head towards the updraft here. You might get stuck like I did here, but all you have to do is just uh, get rid of your glider and then bring it back up. And here, once you get to the top of the updraft, just start heading towards the door of resurrection here so you can activate it and then slam down because if you do that, you're going to spawn right at the door so you've essentially pretty much just skipped everything that is in lisa's domain once you destroy the rock you'll switch to lisa so you do get lisa so don't worry about that and grab the chest okay so once you are out of lisa's domain you can head towards the left to grab these last animoculus and then we're going to teleport to the tower of seven to offer all five animoculus so by the end of this you should have handed in at least seven animoculus all right so after offering all your animoculus you are going to reach adventure rank seven now adventure rank seven is what we need because we get some more rewards that are used to rolling that's why we reach adventure rank seven first instead of pulling in adventure rank five because in adventure rank five you'll get a lot less rolls so once you are adventure rank seven just teleport to monsta and go to the adventurers guild so you can collect your rewards
Okay, so once you collect all your rewards here, you are now able to roll. There is a specific way to rolling, so I'm going to show you that right now. Also, make sure that um, once you have collected your adventure rank rewards, open up your um, menu and open up the mail and just claim everything that's on the mail. So let's move on to the rolling part. Okay, so for the rolling part, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is bring up the wishing tab and we're going to wish on Noelle's banner first. And from there, we're going to wish on the event banner, which is Klee's banner two times. Once you do that, you're going to go to um, the shop and then go to Pyman's Bargain. And then you're going to buy four Acquainted Fates with the Stardust Glitter. Or it's it's the third option. I can't read it right now because to rewatch this video, I have to kind of watch it in lower quality. So once you buy four Acquainted Fates, you can roll on the beginner banner one more time. And then from there, you can single pull on the event banner or the weapon banner. Actually, no, you can. Well, you can you can do whichever one, really. But I just like to do it on the event banner here. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it to the whole rolling part. If for any reason you do get more primal gems or anything like that, then you can do more pulls. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.